Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Sharmat. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to HTML forms, where we will explore two more types of input tag that we can utilize with HTML forms. Okay. Prior to this session, we have already discussed various other types of input tag that we can use with forms. So this session is in the continuation of the same, where we will talk more about the input tags. But before we start the discussion. I would like to recommend you to please go and check out the previously released sessions first because these all sessions are connected with each other. Even the entire playlist is in proper sequence and sync. So if you follow them sequentially, then it would be really very easy for you to understand the ongoing topic. Okay? Because for now we are just focusing on the on the input tag. But prior to that, we have already discussed like what is form, why we need form, what is input tag, why do we need input tag so these are all basic thing we have already covered right even though like the basic st uh, structure of html code right fine but for now we are just focusing on the two types of input tag that we can use so in the same uh, in this uh, program we are proceeding with the same manner firstly i'll explain you the code uh, we will understand the requirement we'll see the syntax like how we can use the input tag input tag and also we will see the output clear Fine. So I think now we are good to start with the session. Here you can see we have noted down the basic structure of HTML code. So if I save it and uh, let me show you the output. So you can see we are here we are just using one heading, right? So just save it, refresh your browser. So it is showing me the output as HTML by texture map. Clear? Fine. Now we will add few more things. So let's add. So let me add heading two. Here I will uh, write in heading two. Uh, types of input tag in HTML forms okay so we have just mentioned this heading types of input tag in HTML form just save it and refresh it you will see types of input tag in HTML form is coming here fine now as we are going to talk about the HTML forms so it's uh, necessary to add the form so let's add the form how we can add the form so to add the form you just write form then enter and here you can specify the action type as well so let's say i want to specify the action type as tspgm10 so what it will do like when i submit the form it will automatically take me uh, to the program uh, to the web page tspgm10.html which we have created in previous session okay you can specify any html page where you want to move okay and it will what basically it will do this form will capture all the data that we are receiving from user and send it or navigate it to the uh, page that we are mentioning here which is tcs at uh, tspgm10 clear fine now just after this what we will do we will add another in uh, heading just to show you the output so let's add heading 3 here i will write uh, input tag type month okay so this is the topic let's save it see the output input type tab month okay now it's time to add the input tag so how we can add input tag you just need to write here input and there is no closing tag for this input tag so you just need to write like this and here we can specify the type so for example in type i want to specify it as month and then you can specify the name as well remember one thing for now you might be thinking like name is not a useful thing because we are not using it but it is very necessary and important thing why because when we are going to receive that data on a backend side at that time we would need this data okay so always make sure that you are specifying name and the for, uh, even the meaningful name for your name okay so here i will write start month and just save it after a save you will refresh the browser and it will open this input field so you can see it is showing the month picker so for this month picker once you click on this button it will open this window from where you can select the month but why do we need this month picker suppose like in previous session we discussed how we can select the date time month right uh, date time but those values we were getting together right but there might be some scenario where we are supposed to fetch only the month from a 
date so in that case what we can do we can use this month picker and it's quite easy for a user to select the month from here you just need to click here on this button then it will show you all the month currently it is showing month for 2024 so let's say if I want to go with May so I can select May here and we are good with it so it is showing 2024 month May okay let's say if you have selected but you want to change it so what you can do or you can go to default value so there is one option for clear just click on clear and it will clear your box got it likewise if you want to select the current month for example I have selected June and now I want to select the current month so there is one option this month when you click on this month option it will automatically select your month okay another good thing is that let's say if I don't want to select from window I can simply use my drop page up and page down value okay so let's say if I do page down it will take me reverse if I go with page up it will go take me in the forward way and from here for example I want to select the December I can select it here okay so in this situation though there is no need to even select the picker although it is a bit convenient to select from the picker because here from here you can directly select the value okay how we can change the year so to change the year you here you can see there is one option okay slider so that slider you can use and from here you can select the year for which you want to select the month for example I want to select for 2022 I can select it here and then you can select the e month here so for example April so I can select April and it is selected for year as well like you can use page up page down to select the value so with this you can select even if you want to type the actual month year so let's say if I want to select 2029 so I can select it from here okay so this is how we can utilize month picker to select the month now let's say I want to okay I want to submit this form so what we can do we can create one button here so button then in button I will write uh, type as submit here I will put uh, submit again just to show you the button name and we are good with it so now let's say if I select the year or month for example this month so August August 2024 then I can select on submit and it will take me to this page which we have mentioned in the action tab <coughs> action attribute and it ticks the value as 202408 which is denoting August month okay so this is how we can utilize month input type now the next thing is another which is h3 let me add a heading for that this time we are going to talk about input input type input tag type input uh, input tag type week okay so I want to select the week this time so for that we will just simply click or uh, write input and here I will write type and week then we can simply provide the name uh, for example week year okay just save it and refresh your browser once you refresh your browser you will see that input tag type week is populated and from here when you click on this week picker so it will show you this list and from here you can select any of the week even if you select from number let's say if I want to select the 36th week of the year so it is selected week 36 2024 now we have more options here like if I want to reset it I can click on clear tag clear button and it will clear it for me likewise if you want to select the current week so you what you can do you can select this this week from the button and it will select the current week okay so there are many advantages similarly if I want to mention it manually so I can mention it manually even for year I can select manually okay also we have the slider option like you can see this thing from here we can do page up page up page down even we can select year and month from here through slider okay so it will only select the exact week which you want to select so I hope now both the things is clear so let's send both the data together July 2024 and week 3rd 2025 so once I click on the submit button it will take me to this new page where we have start month as 2024 7 denoting I guess uh, what we mentioned it's July right yeah and also showing me the 2025 week 3rd
clear so yeah this is how we can utilize uh, both month and both month and week tag and it is very important because yes you will find some scenarios in your project where we are supposed to fetch month and year from the user so in that scenario you can utilize this option i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech Shindut.